Hello everybody, it's JP Bricks, and today I'm reviewing the Lego Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. And this is set number 43179. It comes with 1,739 pieces and retails for $180 in the U.S. It says Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse on the top right, Disney on the bottom right, and it has a nice red trim of bricks on the bottom. And then you have Mickey, Minnie, and some of the... um kind of different builds that are included in this set with the 18 plus um, box art. And here's the back of the box. It shows you Mickey and Minnie with some pictures from the Steamboat Willie on the bottom left, as well as some more angles of the set on the bottom right, as well as the measurements of the characters. And before we look at the um, side builds in this set, this set came with a um, like turquoise brick separator, as well as four stickers, and the four stickers were used in the book. And the first thing we'll look at is the little bouquet of flowers, which is a really nice build. On the bottom, you have some of the stem coming out, which looks cool, as well as these four studs, so you could stick it onto Mickey or Minnie's hands. And then you have the top part, which has these four big flowers with the bigger flower piece, as well as the yellow piece in the middle, so kind of make it look like the inside, which looks really nice. And then it's on these, like, um, tech, um, not tech, these like technically, uh, almost like tech, t tent, oh my, they're like tentacle pieces, finally, I actually got the word right, but they're in black, since it's like kind of like black and white theme, which looks really nice, and this is probably one of my favorite builds, aside from the camera. Next build is Mickey's guitar, and it looks really nice, it has the box, as well as the circle in the middle, which looks pretty cool, and then you have the one big string, and also on the back, there's two studs so you could fit it into Mickey or Minnie's hands. And this is a, also a really, really cool build in this set. And the next build is the little book or storybook, which has photographs of them, which is probably the most detailed of all of them. It has two stickers in the front with Mickey and Minnie with some sparkles going down the middle on a navy blue plate, as well as four hearts in the gold tile pieces or colors in the corners, which look really nice. And then you have the lock on the side, and you could also open it up, which is really cool. And inside you can see two pictures of Mickey and Minnie, one in Disneyland and also one in like a little house where he's playing the guitar, which looks pretty cool. And you could also take these pages off if you wanted to. They're just on those couple studs, and you could take them out. But it also is on those hinge pieces, so that's how you get to open and close. And the last build is the older style camera with a tripod, which looks really nice. And we'll start off with the bottom. It has these three legs for the tripod, which look really nice. And they're attached on this wheel piece right here on some clips. And it kind of goes up to the top part, which is the older style camera, which looks really cool. You have the little um, picture, not the picture, the camera part in the front, as well as the little thing that like flashes in the top, which does spin. That's the only thing I don't like. It's on a, a little Technic piece there, so it does spin a little. So if you wanted it really straight, if, if you play with it or move it around, it might turn, but that's the only downside of this. And you can see that like going up on the side. And I really like the brown color for it too. It kind of curves up on the top, as well as the side, there's a little stud for a little bit more detail. And the back has, I think, where like the pictures come out possibly, or this opens in the older style camera, I'm not too sure. But that's kind of what it does look like. But this is also a really nice build and I'm happy that it, they included it in this set. And here is Mickey and Minnie, and we'll first take a look at Mickey, and then we'll go right to Minnie. The bottom of Mickey, where he's sitting on, is almost like a film strip. I think that's what it's called. But in the front, it, you have, like, those parts of the f um, strip of the film or tape that has that, like, color. And that looks really nice. And then it also has Mickey's signature on this big plate in the front, which looks really cool. And um, also, you have the um, white part here, which kind of has... Mickey's foot going in an angle and then this one just sits on some studs. It does rotate because it is on a rotating stud. I forgot the name of the piece but that's kind of how they got this angle to be like that and not just like straight. But the shoes are a really nice build. You have some like one-fourth circle pieces in the front as well as curves back a little bit and also has in the back I think that's like a Cars piece or something from the old Cars theme used for like the um, like the back part of the car or something but it also has the um, part where his like foot goes in and the other one is the same build just kind of curved at an angle kind of like um, 45 degrees or something and then you have Mickey's legs this is just a whole bunch of circular bricks 
and this one is the big like macaroni pieces which look pretty cool and it also has red baskets for like the shorts part of his um, outfit which is really nice and I think that's a really um, cool piece that they used and then you get to Mickey's torso which has his classic red outfit with the two white buttons which look really nice and I really like how they curved it out it looks really cool and you also have Mickey's tail in the back which you could pose and turn however you want and it's also there so if you wanted it on the opposite side you could do that as well and then you have the black part of his skin which looks really nice I love how they curved it out and made it so circular and it looks really nice and then you have Mickey's two arms which are have the macaroni piece same with the leg down here and then you have his hands which are the same build um, it has the print on there which looks really nice as well as the four fingers and this one is posable you could turn it that way and up like that but these are not, you could kind of turn it if you wanted on the stud, but that's really not supposed to be um, posed. And you could also turn this if you wanted to as well. Same with the other hand, you could turn it however um, angle you want it to be. And here is Mickey's head. It looks really nice. We'll start off with the front. You have um, the helmet for Spaceman in black, which is a really nice piece for the nose. And you could also see his mouth there with the little um, circular red tile representing his tongue which is pretty cool and they use the same piece for the back of the foot for the nose which is pretty cool and then you have this big print on this half of a this hemisphere um half of the circle piece with which has these eyes which look really nice and then if you get to the side it has more curving as well as the back which looks really nice and then you have mickey's two ears which you can um pose them to however you want you can move them up like that but this piece does pop off a little bit if you pull it like that so that's the only downside of it but other than that it's really cool how you could pose them and kind of angle them to whatever you want and Minnie's base is the exact same as Mickey the only difference is it has Minnie Mouse's signature instead of Mickey and you also have her um, shoes which are at a different angle this is kind of like this and that's a little bit more like 30 degree angle but um, they're pretty cool it's a much more simpler build than Mickey's it has a little bit less curving um, in the front there are some like um, triangle pieces and some curves on the side but other than that it's pretty cool simple build and then you have Mickey um, Minnie's legs which kind of go through the whole thing and this was kind of placed in it which these these back curving pieces you kind of put them on and it sits or fits right in. Same with this one. And then if you move this up a little bit, you can see mini skirt, which looks really nice. Um, there's a lot of different pieces. I really like these pieces, which are like these big, I don't know what they're called, but they're big pieces with some prints with the dots. They all have prints, um, but those were probably my um, favorite piece of mini skirts or piece usage. And it does curve a little bit on these sides. You can kind of see it curves on these sides a little bit. And Minnie's torso also has a lot more curving like Mickey, it looks really nice and I love how they curved it out. And you can also see Minnie's tail, which does not um, turn all the way to that side, it's only this side, but you can still pose it to whatever you want. And Minnie's arms are also the same as Mickey, same pose, and they have the same built um, usage or pieces for the hands and they could turn as well. And it uses the same macaroni pieces and the hands are also the same build. And Minnie's head also looks really, really nice. It, of course, is a different print for the headpiece or the top of the, her eyes because it does have those eyelashes. And she also has the mouth, which is a little bit different of a build. It's kind of curved different, but she still does have the tongue. And then she has the same um, build on the back and the sides. Ears are also the same. You can pose them. But she also has her hat which is really nice I thought this was a really cool thing that they added it has the little red hat as well as the stem and the flower big flower piece same from the bouquet but this is a really cool little um, thing that they added to the top of Minnie and there's two instructions one for Mickey and one for Minnie and all the other accessories that are built and it does say Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse I feel like it would have been cooler if it said Mickey here and Minnie there but um, Mickey, you could open it up. It gives you some information on Mickey Mouse as well as the designer who um, built the Mickey Mouse. And then it also shows you how to use the brick separator included in the set. And then it just shows you how to build it with piece count in the back. And then with the mini build, it shows you a little bit information about mini as well. 
and it shows you the designer building mini and then you could open it up it shows you how to build the set or mini as well as all the other um accessory builds in this set and then in the back it shows you you could put the thing in mickey and also shows you the back side of mini and there's also some cool extra pieces like the heart um tile in gold as well as the carrot piece in black which is a cool color to get that piece in but anyways that's gonna be it for this video and i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time